Hi YouTube and welcome to another speed paint. I'm Ivy and I'm rambling today. <laughs> I I just went to my last therapy appointment and I just want to have a free schedule ahead of me to figure out what I'm going to do with all of my new free time now that I am jobless. Well, now that I'm self-employed, I should say. And that means that this <laughs> This podcast, no, this YouTube video has now become my source of therapy, which today I had a whole thing to talk about. And now I'm going to talk about perfectionism because I've recorded it about three times and decided I hate it. <laughs> it's too much rambling. And I'm just so self-critical. I think it gets hard. <laughs> no, I mean... I'm good at talking, but sometimes I'm not great at articulating myself. And when I listen back to everything that I've talked about and how many times I've said like and you know and um for about the 500th time, I'm about ready to pull all of my hair out. And <laughs> I think, oh my god, I can't publish this. What am I doing? Um, so today's video ended up becoming this instead, where I just... I've already had that conversation three times and I decided it sucked. So now I'm having a conversation about how I've had that conversation three times. Welcome to my hour of rambling. No, not really hour, my 10 minutes. <laughs> so I had my last therapy appointment. What I was really awed by was the fact that uh, there was a point where my therapist bowed down and regarded me as Gandhi. She was like, hello, Gandhi, how old are you? <laughs> which, was, which was unexpected and amazing. And she was very complimentary to me for pretty much the whole time I'd been there, <laughs> which I wasn't really sure if that was my favorite trait in a therapist because I can be so very self-critical that I was kind of like, what are you seeing in me? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're... I need more criticism. How can I get better? I just want to be better. <laughs> it's the Capricorn in me. So that was wild. Um, my therapist thinks I'm Gandhi. No, I mean, I'm sure she was kidding, but the whole way that came about was I ended up talking to this guy at this bar the other day. I mean, it was like a restaurant bar, not like a bar bar, but um, and my dad was playing there at this little restaurant and I went with him, you know, I'm enjoying having so much freedom. And I talked to this guy who, by standards of most sort of liberal leaning people, was kind of a jerk. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I guess my whole message was kind of like, I don't really want to see him as a jerk. I don't want to be a person that excludes the opinion of anyone. And I managed to talk about that for a good 20 minutes. And now I feel bad reiterating myself. So, <laughs> so how can I make a good YouTube video out of this? I don't know, <laughs> but <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's such an art to, <laughs> to be a person that can listen to someone that is such a radically different view from you and it's hard for me because I'm quite good at it. I'm really all right at listening to other people's opinions and that are so different from mine and kind of getting what I can from it. And sometimes my view does even change to some extent or I become even more confused, which is what happens most of the time. There's things I'm very solid about, but also things that I still don't understand. And I'm just trying to figure it out. And, you know, my talk with my therapist was about how to balance those parts of you, like the part of me that wants to be this badass that is, you know, confident in what I know, because there are things that I feel very strongly about. And those things aren't changing because, you know, I've done the research on it for, you know, my ideals and I'm solid on it. There's things that I openly support, but there's you know, I don't want to exclude anybody that isn't hateful is kind of where I come from in the end. There are so many people that have a different perspective from me and are perfectly good people. I mean, some of the things they say I don't understand 
And so much of that frustration is because I don't understand how they could think those things. And I'm not saying that we should ever subject ourselves, like, point blank to people that make us uncomfortable or we feel disrespected by. Sorry, my chair and, like, drawstrings are so loud, but <laughs> um, I want to reject hate, but I don't want to reject differences. And that's why it's so hard to find a balance of being a person that is also on that fence where I don't want to be hateful to different opinions and I don't want to end conversations just because I don't agree. I want to continue them so I can understand perspective but I also want to make sure that I'm heard and stand up for myself and be that cool person that I really think I can be. It's a little bit frustrating almost sometimes to feel like you know, I talked to this guy at the bar and after I left, I kind of felt like I rolled over for some things that I wished that I had more of a chance to speak about. And I let myself get talked over to an extent or I didn't really make it a point to make what I really wanted to say a priority. And, you know, I've heard many things like when we talk about these kind of things, political issues and all that stuff, it's usually not necessarily to educate the other person. The first motivation that you should have is kind of so you can solidify your own beliefs so you can get to a point where you understand your issues and your side so much that you can easily explain it to someone else that's a great thing to aim for I think but it's it's difficult to balance being a person that can talk strongly about the things that you feel like you know and also make space for the conversation to happen so you can you can also gain that other's perspective from another person because there's definitely things that I've learned uh, things that I've think about still viewpoints that have changed and it's made me a more relatable person to just the people that are around me I mean I grew up on Tumblr and then I had to go out into the world and get a job in, you know, the Bible Belt where people come in and, you know, supporting things, let's say, very openly that are, don't align with my views. And they're people that I love and like work with every day and I see their kindness and their good heart and I just know that even if I don't agree with a lot of things that they say, a lot of things that, you know, other people might say that is definite grounds to just outright know that that person sucks. <laughs> like, and you know, I'm not saying that they don't have that right because they totally do. But I just, I don't want to be that person. I want to be a person that understands that other side as much as I can. You know, it's not easy, but I do want to try. So... I'm Gandhi now. <laughs> yeah, I am. No, um, I'm not. <laughs> but, but I do want to understand everyone around me as much as I can because I don't think that the world is black and white. I don't think that people deserve to be uh, demonized <laughs> all the time. That's such a hard line to draw because there is hatred out there. There's things that, there's viewpoints that undoubtedly make other people's lives harder and, you know, just, it's so hard to know how to balance two sides of my world, kind of. The people that hold those horrible, you know, th things that to me feel horrible. And, but then I know that person and I know that they're kind and I know that they care about the people that are around them and they want the best and they, I don't see hate there. And, you know, I'm a privileged person, so I'm not going to experience everything, but, you know, I just, I hope that we can all bring it down to a base level where we're all caring about everyone around us and listening to the struggles of everyone around us and knowing that everyone has them and even if some are you know <laughs> certainly more difficult or certainly easier or, you know more first world they're still they deserve to be heard so that we can all understand the perspective of people around us and i try really hard to just live by that even when it comes to 
assholes at the bar. <laughs> um, and I hope, I hope that that mentality can spread. So, you know, don't be perfectionist. You're not, your first take is fine. This is my lesson for the video. <laughs> and also your second take is fine. And just forgive people around you if they deserve it. And that includes yourself. <laughs> Thank you guys. Have a good one.